Do you know what a direct attached copper cable is or DAC cable? In this example, I've got a 10 gigabits per second DAC cable. So as you can see here, it says SFP plus 10 gigabit per second ethernet twin axe cable. Here we have a 25 gigabits per second DAC cable. This is 25G SFP 28. And here we have a 100 gigabits per second DAC cable. So in this example, I've got two computers, one on my desk, one below my desk. They have both 25 gigabits per second interface cards as well as 100 gigabits per second interface cards in them. So what I'll do is connect them using both 100 gig as well as 25 gig, and then we can test the speed of the connections. Okay, so on my computer, on my desk here, I have two ethernet connections, ethernet three running at 100 gigabits per second and ethernet seven running at 25 gigabits per second. 25 gigabits per second interface has an IP address of 192.168.1.201. This one has an IP address of 192.168.2.201. So if you need high speed connections between two devices, this is a great way to do it. So if your devices are not too far away from each other, DAC cables give you the ability to get high speed connections. I've got a KVM switch here that allow me to connect to the computer below my desk. And again, on this side, we've got 100 gigabits per second and 25 gigabits per second. This one has an IP address of 192.168.1.200 and 192.168.2.200. So what I can do here is run iperf, which will allow me to test the speeds of connections. So I'll use the command iperf-server. So I'll run the iperf server on the computer below my desk, and then I'll test the speed from the computer on my desk. I'll run iperf here, type iperf, dash client 192.168.1.200. That's the 25 gigabits per second interface. And you can see there we're running at 23.7 gigabits per second. So not too bad. Now I have found that my recording software slows things down. So what I'll do is turn that off. So hopefully you can see that on my camera. I'll run the command again. And you can see it's slightly faster now, 23.7 gigabits per second. 23.7 gigabits per second on a 25 gigabits per second network card. So I'm quite happy with that, but let's connect to the 100 gigabits per second interface. So I'll run the same command and notice here I'm getting 42, 44, 45 almost gigabits per second, now 49 gigabits per second. As an average, 45.1 gigabits per second. The issue here is not the network. The issue here is these computers. They are older gaming computers, can't handle these kinds of speeds. That's an example of a DAC cable or direct attached copper cable.